Hi and welcome back. I have another prize. There are 1120 here. Um, this is one that I picked up off um, eBay and it is working um, but it has some broken parts in here and this one here is broken and there is one at the back here broken as well. So I'm going to look at um, doing something different with this. Um, to make replace these I'm going to make up a, a, um, a, some, a wax mould and uh, I'll show you that process and then we're going to use the mould to make the new struts here and then put them in place so um, this is what I'm going to be doing with this one because I, I want to try and keep the original colour so we're going to have to try and match this to suit so we'll just see how we go Okay, so it looks like it's got a crack through here. Um, that's fine, we can fix this up. Looks like someone's tried to repair it before. But we'll uh, use um, some JB Weld and, and fix all this up. Should look pretty good when we finish. Just the base, so you won't see anything anyway. So looking at the radio. It looks like someone's done some cap here. None of the electrolytics are done. Still plenty of wax paper capacities in here, so it will um, give us something to do. And uh, as I said, the radio still works, and uh, so it just needs a few new capacitors and should be fine. So we'll take this out, the chassis out, and look at the, the top housing. So this looks pretty good, it's not too bad actually, um, very similar to the other radio I did, uh, this one has a different, uh, different valve or something, that's the rectifier valve there, and this one, the other one had it over here. Okay, so we'll look at the housing. Let's put this down over here. So here we have the housing. I'll take out the speaker cloth. I'll use a different speaker cloth. See how that is. So you can see before the person I spoke to the exhibit that he made up some wooden pieces to fit in here and they don't look too bad um, but we're going to try and do something different this one's a bit broken that's fine got to glue that back into place so the idea will be to um, put some tape over here and then from this side just put a little wax here so this will be covered in tape and we'll put some like a, an oil on here a releasing agent and then we'll use this to fill, a, fill up a section of it and make a mould and um, from there we should be able to um, pop it off and then fill the mold with the JB weld and should be able to do the same with this one as well. We'll make a mold from this one and then it should fit in here. Okay so we'll see 
Let's see how that goes. So I'm going to work on this one first. I'm fairly confident with these ones. Um, and this is something different that I want to try. So what I've got is some, just some detergent and uh, some water. And what we want to do is clean all this up. So that um, as, when the wax comes off, it's not going to bring up any, any dirt with it. And do the inside as well. It's got a very nice shine to it, so it's going to come up very well. I'm going to use a, a gloss paint when we go to paint these and uh, I'll go to Bunnings and try and match the paint. So what I'm going to use on this is just some masking tape. And put that right hard up against in on the inside there. And so the idea now is to, to drip wax on here and try and um, make them a wax mold so then I can uh, use some JB Weld and, and, and make a mold from that. Looking in the cupboard, I have some um, grape seed oil, so it's, it's worth a try. We'll try this. do is try and get this a bit more of an angle so the wax doesn't run off and the idea is just to start filling up a couple of these tracks with some wax and try and make a, a mould. Now what I found is that the, the wax gets very hot and stays molten around the where we're trying to do the mold so it's best to just do it in stages so that's the first stage done so I'll fill this back up with the wax again and, and then I'll um, wait till the wax hardens and then I'll, I'll do it more and more get it much thicker and um, so it's got some strength to it when we go to, to pull it off What I'm thinking of doing is um, this coat hanger and bending it to the shape here, like this, and probably cutting it here and here, and putting that in in the wax there, maybe two pieces to try and strengthen the wax up, and then drip the wax over the top.
which fancy. We'll put this last little bit on just here. Then we'll wait till it dries and then we'll try and pull it off and we'll see how we go. So it's dried here. It's pretty good. And so I've got a, a little spray, plastic scraper here. And we're going to use that and we'll um, cut the wax through here. Trying not to, to damage it. This can all clean off later. Same on this side. Over spill here with the wax, um, and underneath, I take this masking paper off, and my idea to here is to use this to scrape along here in case some wax got under the paper. And now to try and to, to take this off because we put the oil on here we're hoping hoping that this will just pop off and there we have it we've made a nice mold here and you can fill these with JB World and then once the, the mold the pieces are taken out then you'll be able to fold them to fit in here and uh, just a bit of some maybe some JB World on the back and uh, and be able to paint these very similar color to this and it's going to be in your gloss and then you'll hardly even notice it so we're going to do a very similar thing to to the front here. Make up some front grill fins to replace this one here and this one here. Might as well break that out and, and do the same there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make up some of the JB World and uh, and fill this up, and then I'll leave it overnight and we'll um, see how it turns out tomorrow. Good stuff about with this is that it's very thick and um, and it sets very hard. I have tried doing this with Arrow Diet, but the problem is is Arrow Diet it, um, tends to run and um, and when it sets, it doesn't set hard like this, like the JB World does. It stays a bit soft, so I find the JB World is the the best product to use for this you probably could use resin um, but then i think resin is very uh, liquidy as well so jb world seems to work the best for me now the idea is to try not to get any air pockets under it when you, when you get it all in there if I push it up and down at the same time as you um as you're putting it in and hopefully that'll push the air out and just work your way up this um JB board I'm using is like a 24 hour one so I've got plenty of time to work with this
fine. Okay then. So we'll come back tomorrow and uh, and we'll see how that turns out. Okay, so um, it's a little bit longer. I've left this probably uh, a day and a half, um, probably close to two days. Uh, I've been a bit busy, so um, I'm going to try and pull this apart now. I'm thinking what I should have done was to um, put a bit of oil on the mould, um, but I didn't remember to do that. So we're just going to try and pull this apart now, and uh, we'll just see how it goes. I did think of um, maybe using some hot water to melt the wax. The problem I found with the, the JB Weld, even though it, it, it does um, stay very um, rigid, um, as soon as you put any heat on it, it tends to get flexible. So that would be no good for what we're trying to do. It would then ruin the shape. You see there's a little bit of an air pocket in that one there. But we can fix that later, that's fine. I just use an old toothbrush here and try and scrape out some of that that wax. Probably will eventually just run a little bit of warm water over it. Okay, so let's go and run a little bit of warm water over it and with the with the toothbrush and, and just try and clean the rest of that wax out. Okay, so um, I've cleaned it all up a fair bit, um, probably do a little bit more, um, but you see I've left a little air pocket in here, and there's a little bit of an air pocket in here, um, probably if I was to use this one here, probably won't make much of a difference, but um, a little bit more JB board in there, and a little bit of a, a sandpaper that would fix this up, but you can see that it's got the shape very well. And this is what it would look like. So it's going to fit in there. Once it's all filed down. And you can see that it's definitely it's going to hold the shape pretty well. So And, and look very good. Okay, so um, I'll, I'll pop it, fix this up later. And then we can come back to that. But at the moment, I'll, uh, I'm going to do the mouldings for, for this one here. Okay.
Okay, so I'm going to work on this one here. I'm going to um, file this down to try and fit it into here. My thoughts are is to sort of leave it a little bit longer with like a bit of a step so then it will sort of fit underneath here and then it'll, it'll support it from popping out all the way. Well, my thoughts are is to, um, I've got some small files here and I'm going to file this flat here and here so then it's um, so then it will try and just push it straight through from the bottom here so okay so I'm going to look at doing that now Okay. Okay, so I'll work on the front and we can come back to that. I've shaped these to the right length and, and, and narrowed them a little bit here on this one here to make this um, to fit in. Uh, of course, I have sprayed this with some um, like some spray putty filler and sanded them back to try and take out any of the, um, the, the problems with the mold. And then what I do, this is the back one here. See, I, I did try to attempt to spray this um, and it didn't come out so well. So I've sanded it back and uh, I'm going to do an, an, another attempt at getting it right. So what I then do is do a... Um, super glue a little bit of wire onto it because it's going to be able to so we can paint it a whole later um, so this is the one that goes in here like this after trying several different things to try and get this to look a bit more like the color of the baker light i finally came up with this which doesn't look too bad so what i have is the mission brown here in gloss and i have the um, gloss black and the idea is to cross the beams of the spray as you're hitting what you're painting and then sort of like a bit of a dust coat and and, and it seems to come up a lot better so I'll just try and do that put those pieces in Here's one here, and here's the other one. I haven't joined them yet, so I've got to use some JB Weld onto the back here to glue those in. And uh, then for those little gaps there, I'm thinking of just filling that with some brown paint and then sort of rubbing it on, which will sort of blend in. But I'm happy with the way the color came out by doing the, um, the two spray cans at the same time. So then that's the way I'll be doing the rest of it. Okay, not the whole thing, of course. Uh, that's the whole idea was to try and match this. Um, but the piece that I did at the back, I'm going to redo it the same way as I did this because I'm very happy with the way it came out. The video ended up being very long, so I'm going to release it in uh, several different parts. Um, so now that we've finished this, we can, you know, apart from the gluing, we can see the how it's going to pan out. So the next part of the video, which I will release later, is going to be replacing the capacitors on. On the on the chassis, and um, and then we'll, we'll fire it up and, uh, and and see how it all goes. So um, please subscribe um, so you don't miss the part two of this video, and uh, I hope to see you then. Bye.